And so this is factoring using the have and need system and we are factoring cubics this way. Now, by the factor theorem, without wasting any time, basically I've already figured out that f at negative 3 is equal to 0 for this particular function. And of course that means that the binomial factor x plus 3 will divide into this evenly. What I want to find out is what the quadratic factor is when I know that x plus 3 is the binomial factor. Okay, uh, I can take a stab at what the quadratic factor looks like and uh, I know I'm going to be multiplying it by x plus 3 and so I'm going to use the table method of just expanding. Okay, so here we go. I know that I'm going to be multiplying the x by x squared because I get an x cubed out of that. I know that I'm going to be multiplying this 3 by 8 because I get a 24 out of that. The other things I just kind of have to take a stab at, but based on these two binomial uh, terms in the binomial factor, basically I do know that I've got a 3x squared here and I do know that I've got an 8x here and what I don't know is that there's some coefficient times x in my quadratic uh, factor. What I need to do is figure out what this is. Now, what I actually have based on the factors I've got so far is an x cubed, a 3x squared, an 8x, and a 24. What I really need to have, of course, when I expand it out, I need to get back the original polynomial. Okay, so I can figure out what goes in the middle here and fill in these two boxes. So the x cubed is fine. I don't need anything more than that. I have a 3x squared based on the factors that I've got so far, but I need a negative 3x squared. So I know that I'm going to need another, another negative 6x squared. I have an 8x. I need a negative 10x. So I know that I have to get a negative 18x there. Okay, so basically um, in here is a negative 6x squared and in here is a negative 18x. And so I know that something x times x is negative 6x squared. Well, Obviously, there's a negative 6 goes in here, and I can verify that by seeing that negative 6x times 3 is negative 18x, so I'm very confident that that's a negative 6x. And so factoring this down into a binomial and a quadratic, basically I can say, oh yeah, this is x plus 3 times x squared minus 6x plus 8.